Welcome to the beer review of me, Jake. So, it looks like we have a Trillium beer. But actually, it is a beer from Cloudwater. It is the uppercase double IPA, a 9% double IPA. So this is this is a collaborative beer with Trillium. And it's part of the Freaky Friday series, which I believe was started by Other Half in the Veil. And it's where, basically, you brew someone else's beer in your brewery. And then they brew your beer in their brewery. So it's a way of sort of still being able to collaborate without actually being able to meet up, which I think is a very cool idea. So this is Cloudwater's take on a Trillium double IPA. I can't remember the exact hops in this one. But we were, we'll crack into it and see, shall we? Very freshly released this week. I think this might be part of their sort of like birthday series of beers that they're doing. Or it might just been on the cards. Had a few bits from Trillium in the past, a few cans, but majority on keg a few years ago at Beaver Town. But let's have a look at this then. Whoa, 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 whoa. aroma, aroma. So we have an orangey, hazy little number there. Frothy, rocky head on the top. Looks absolutely fantastic. Let's go for a little sniff, shall we? Well, bless my soul. An absolute initial rush of dankness. I feel very close to the camera. Feel very, very big headed. Grapefruit, mango. Yeah, a little bit of a merin, merin, a little bit of a melon character to it. Who the fuck's merin? God, that smells good. That smells damn good. Has got a savoury tinge to it. You're getting that sort of cooked garlic and onions vibe. Smelling a little bit green, but this, this is this is a pretty damn fresh beer, and and I've just got it from my local bottle shop. Yeah, it's getting that sort of like a little bit of a menthol character, but still smells pretty damn good. Let's go for a taste. Cheers. Oh, oh, oh. As far as double IPAs go, that's a quaffer, I'd have to say. And also not as green as I thought it was going to be on the taste. It smells a little bit green on the aroma, but the taste is actually quite quite soft. Quite quite a silky mouthfeel. A little spike of bitterness at the back end. Initially getting like sweeter stone fruits, and then that sort of tails off to a little bit more of a lemon-lime sharpness. Yeah, again, there's sort of like a fresh melon character. It's a damn good double IPA. It's not a crazy juice bomb or anything like that. Very drinkable. And to me, it's just very well made. I mean, I wouldn't say it tastes like a Trillium beer or, or it tastes like a Cloudwater beer as such. It's just very well done. Yeah, so I like that. Let me know your thoughts on this beer. Have you had anything of a Freaky Friday beers? Let me know in the comments below. I've been Jake. That was everything from Cloudwater and Trillium's uppercase double IPA. Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. So much gas. Cheers.